What's up guys, it's Ophilly215 here and today I'm going to show you how to use a soul vessel in Dark Souls 2. Okay guys, so what you actually have to do is you have to go to the very first bonfire and um, you have to backtrack a little bit into the room with uh, the three, I believe it's three old ladies sitting at a table and you actually give the soul vessel to them and the reason for doing so is because uh, I'm pretty sure in the description of what a soul vessel is, it doesn't really tell you what... Uh, to do with it so uh, its actual purpose is so that you could uh, reallocate your points um, and what that means is is you get to move them around so for instance all the way up until the end of the game where I'm at now I've been going solely off a strength build type of character I haven't been using magic or anything like that at all so I've been mainly just focusing on everything not required with magic and, um, I, you know, I'd like to start beefing up that area and, you know, it costs like 45,000 for me to upgrade one time. So, um, you know, you could, it, this method is really good because you can move around points and, um, you know, cause honestly, if you bump, you know, I'm, I have like straight 39s, uh, and I think like five slots. And do I really need 39 on every single one of five slots? Probably not. So I dumbed it down a couple of points on each one and beefed up uh, other areas that I was interested in getting a higher level in. So a soul vessel is, uh, you know, really good for just um, being able to move your points around and, um, you know, in case you were going for one specific build and you end up changing your mind or anything like that. But, um, alright guys, that's what you can do with a soul vessel, and uh, that's where to do it. And uh, I hope this video helped you out, I hope you learned something, and as always, it's Oophilly215. Peace!